Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Prison Architects, I'm Matt and let's begin our game as you can see in front of us we do have our create new prison screen open in front of us we're going to start with a small prison everything off except for failure conditions because we still want to be able to fail, we still want to have some sort of challenge and if we don't have failure conditions on then there's no really challenge just move that over there, so it's out of the way alright, let's press play, let's begin I forgot some of the noises you get on this um, I do apologise. Just turn it on to sorry. Okay, so um, as you can see, we've got deliveries coming in, and the first thing we're going to have to build is we're going to build just a quick thing, just take up the garage and some of that. And this is going to be, and um, we're going to have to put an entrance on this. Um, which we'll let them do in a minute, which we're going to send out to triple speed and as you can see we're starting to let them build and we're just going to let them build that room quick there you go, that one. right, so you're building this now, it says requires an entrance and I do know about that but I'm not going to build an entrance because we're going to sort of build it differently, the walls aren't exactly going to be where they are at the moment um, oh and it won't let me do it because it doesn't, doesn't have an entrance um, ok so we're going to put a staff door at the top, we'll just put a staff door there um, you can go put a staff door down and that's then going to there we go, that's going to build the room now we're going to go to materials and we're going to demolish walls, we're going to demolish the walls, let's see where they are at the front of deliveries and the front of the garbage and put concrete walls here here so we've got a little outlet there and we've got the garbage there which we're just going to rooms which are going to define all the way to the edge and deliveries as well like so and what we're going to add on to that, we're just going to, yeah, we're going to build a concrete building just at the bottom here, which is going to be, s uh, I think it's 7 by 7, oh no, 7 by 6, because by the time you add that wall on, I'm just going to build another one next to it. And what these going to be, it's going to be electric room and uh, water room as well. And they should connect straight to this, eventually. Oh! One thing I do need to do quick is prisoners staff intake none. We're going to turn our intake onto none at the moment because we don't want any prisoners coming in while we've got we don't want prisoner mates coming in while we've got obviously no one on there, uh, nowhere to put them. Okay, so these require an entrance. That's easy enough. We just get the rooms, uh, not rooms, objects and staff doors and we just put these in the center of each room although I have built this one wrong, I've just realized because when that thing completes like so, what you're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to get a concrete wall and now what we want is we want walking room all the way around the thing and then that and we want the same for this one which means we're going to want a wall along here as well so what I'm going to do is yeah, we're going to build that there. We're going to extend the foundations. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm. Extend the foundations here. And we are slowly running out of money, but that's fine because in a moment we're going to build the holding cell. And that's when we'll start making money again. And down here, get our materials back. We're going to build a concrete wall here. So what this is, is just like a little extra uh, bit for storage, which we're going to define now. So storage is going to be there, a bit there, a large bit there, and a little bit there. So now all this is storage, or most, so a lot of this is storage, and you've garbage and deliveries as well. And in here, what we're going to do, if we go to utilities, um, we'll put our power station in with a capacitor and then a water pump in here we're going to run electrical this does build electrical cable I believe yeah there um, 
we'll power that like that. And while we're here, we'll just run the cable up into the storage bit. Now, what I plan on having eventually, maybe not straight away, it might be powered altogether, but what I plan on having is having another power um, area that will power the actual prison. Which, talking of the prison, that's what we're going to build now. So. Oh, that is in-game. I was wondering if that was outside or not. Um, so, we're going to start with having a corridor. Should I just build a building? Yeah, we'll build a building that's 20 by 20. So this is going to be our entrance, our holding cell, shower room, canteen, kitchen, and what have you. Um, he is going to moan that that does need an entrance. And so, we're going to have a staff door as well. Just down here. About there ish. And while we're doing this, we'll just get a fence to put at the end. And we'll pave all the inside. Okay, so we've got no lights in there at the moment. And so, as I said, I think to begin with, we're going to just um, run it all off of the same power generator. Let's keep an eye on it, just make sure we keep it updated with the capacitors as we build more stuff. You should see here there's like paving down there now, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's just go into materials and grab our brick wall. Now what you'll notice is the staff areas are going to be made out of concrete. The prison areas are going to be made out of brick. So we're going to have this here. This is going to be a jail door. What I think I'm going to do is just pause quick. Because we can go to planning. Okay, so we're going to have the jail door here. A metal detector is going to be there. And then that's our little entrance area. This is obviously going to be a staff area because there's a staff door here. So what we'll probably have is that will then open up into a holding cell. Now a holding cell doesn't need to be huge. It needs to have a bench, which I believe is three blocks. Uh, four blocks, sorry. So it needs to have a bench, which is four blocks. So that can be up against the wall here. And if you're on rooms, you can actually see what it takes. So it needs um, to be indoors, have a toilet and a bench. So I think I'm going to make the toilet separate. So what we'll have is in walls, we'll have a little toilet there. And that will be that. That will be our holding cell. So that's fine. We then need a shower room for them. Do I need this bit here, or should I just have that like that? And that can be our little holding cell. It's like the smallest holding cell I think I've ever built. And, yeah, and then... So that's the holding cell. We need a canteen and a kitchen. A shower room and a yard, I believe. I think if we go in here, we can get... Grants, here we go. Yeah, grants. Um, So we take basic detention centre. This gives us things we actually have to build. Um, So our holding cell which is what we've built or what we would have built here let's just quickly mark that out in walls okay so that's that and that will build once uh, let's just set that going again actually rooms uh, objects gel door so I'm going to put a gel door on here we also do need a way for the staff to enter the holding cell because walking all the way around is a bit long so let's just get planning, remove all that uh, objects let's get a toilet and rotate it so it's there a bench, rotate it so it's there what we also need is to go back into utilities and run a large pipe up here into this and across into the toilet so we'll let them build that quick and we have need no <laughs> sorry we have no power in there either which is surprising so we'll just run a power in there and what we're going to have at the top of that is we're just going to have a jail door as well so this is going to be for them to then lead into what's going to be our little so this is going to be I think our small prison blocks this is like their entrance block and 
what you're going to have in here is more of a corridor. So we're going to have a small shower room, which is going to be there. In here we'll have um I don't know what we'll do. We're gonna have Yeah, up there and along there. There. Oh, no, we'll have that like that. With on the end having canteen. This bit I'll find something to do up here. And I do need to just run a cable just a bit more around here. Oh no, that's a large pipe. Don't do that. Good god. Cost me a fortune for no reason. Um just run a cable up there. Okay, and we do also need Right, let's see what we need now. So we need a staff door there. We're going to go foundations. We're going to bulldoze the foundations in the middle here. And you'll see why we'll do that in a minute. So when we now to find our rooms, we're going to have a yard, which will be here. A canteen, which is going to be this. A kitchen, which will be that. So that's the whole thing there. And the shower room, which is up there. And that'll be everything we need. They can't get into that bit, so I'm going to have to put a staff door in the side there. So he's going to go and put the staff door, and then they're going to finish wiring that up. And I don't know what else I'm going to put in here, to be honest with you. I suppose I could square that off and maybe. I don't know, because this is going to be, as I said, this is just going to be a little... And oh, look, I've never noticed this. The shadows are, like, creeping across the yard there. Okay, so that needs a shower head. That needs a minimum size. I didn't read that it needs a minimum size. That was probably a mistake. So it needs to be a minimum of 5x5. Five five. That's 4. So it needs to be that. So what we're going to have to do is just plan quick. So we need that... We need to build walls there, get rid of any other walls. So the shower room's going to have to go back to there. What I think I'm going to do is extend the yard up, maybe extend the shower room as well. Um, should I extend the shower room? Yeah, we'll extend the shower room up as well. And that should be that. We'll have to have that as the door. Okay, so we're going to need to get materials, brick walls, build a brick wall there, there, all the way across there and there, all the way up there, and then we'll wait for them to build that one and then build that one. So what we're then going to do is go in and demolish walls. We're going to demolish that one, that one, that one. Um, that one can be demolished. What does that leave us? One, two, three... One, two, three, four. So that one's going to have to be demolished. And we're going to have to also put a gel door on there. Go to rooms, holding cell. Make sure we show them that that's expanded. Build our walls properly. If you notice here, we've got to demolish that and build a brick wall. Ah, they've failed that because... Why can't they? Okay, so he's destroyed that. Can we add? Uh, where's dismantle object? What's this? So, oh, this needs to be enclosed. There you go. Now that is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So he's now a minimum size. He's a minimum size. What's the issue here? So that's that. That's that suit is enclosed. Why is that there? Is this an actual jail door? Dismantle. 
what we're going to do is we're going to take this away because I can't tell if the holding cell is actually failing or if it's so you can close it. it's saying it's not a minimum size it is the minimum size unless it's because we've got the walls in there is that is that a thing does can the walls not be there because now I can go into holding cell to find that bit and that bit yeah so it's just because the walls were there it wasn't letting us even though I was putting the walls in for a bit of privacy for the toilet but hey ho um Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to also get another gel door and put it there and then put another one there. Demolish them walls and that wall. And come and demolish all that wall and build that wall and bulldoze them foundations and make it all the yard. Minus that one. This one's the shower room. We're just going to redefine the shower room. It's up here. Don't know what this room can be. Um, I don't know. We'll find something for it to be. The kitchen passes and that passes. Now we've just got to put the object in. So the kitchen needs a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. So we find them. Oh, don't want to sell objects. I want that one, that's it. So the sink can go. Oh my god, that's a huge sink. Um, the fridge can go there, and the cooker can go down here. This needs a serving table, a table, and a bench. I haven't quite made it big enough for the serving table. I think I can just put the serving table there, though. I need it to be big enough for a table and a bench. What I can do, I know what we're going to do. We're going to go take the canteen. We're going to extend the canteen up to there. We're going to come into materials and we're going to demolish all them walls. And we're also going to go rooms, not rooms, objects, gel door. Put a gel door on the end here. And a gel door there. So now the, guard, the yard's different. The canteen's. The canteen's broken because of this bit. The canteen's separate. I have to destroy that bit. And. Build. Oh no, not demolish walls, sorry. Build walls there. Demolish walls there. And extend the kitchen. I'm very. I do apologize. I am very particular when it comes. Oh, I need to dismantle that. Oh, didn't mean to zoom out there. I'm very particular when it comes to certain things and making sure everything fits is definitely one of them. Um. So we're going to put the staff door. We'll let the staff door in straight into the canteen. The canteen still needs a table and a bench. And it needs one of each. But I feel like it kind of needs more. So we're going to have that there. A gap. A bench. A table. A bench. A gap. A bench. A table. A bench. A gap. A we're not going to have that there because of the door. So we're then going to have a bench there, and then just a table down, yeah. So now we're going to go get tables there, there, cancel that one, put it there instead, there, there, not there, there. Okay, so now the kitchen's built, the canteen's built, and just the shower, just needs a shower head. So we can just put um, four shower heads in, and you can put a drain in, which is there. Never worked out how to use the drain. Um, I've put them under the shower head. I've put them outside the door. I can't work them out. If you can, if you do know how to use them, please do leave a comment. Please let me know because it's been bugging me for so long. Okay, next thing we've got to do is just go into our utilities and connect them up. I keep putting pipes. I keep going to put pipes, and that's definitely not what I want to do. Um, so that, and then we've got to run this large pipe all the way up here. And we just run it into there as well. And then once they finish building that, that should be that. We do need to hire two guards and two cooks. That's easy. We just go to staff. Two guards and two cooks. And there is ten grand that we've just made. Okay. And let's see. Um, 
Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I think we've made a good start. I've done one grant. We've built a little building here. We can now put on to take the prisoners if you wanted to, but I do want to do... There is a grant of... I'm sure there's a grant at some point in this like building a... an actual building for them to stay in. Uh, cell block A. So we need to unlock finance, which I think you have to unlock in one of these. Yeah, unlock finance on an administration centre. So we'll do administration centre next time, and then we can do cell block A. And once we've built an actual cell block, we'll build somehow for them to get to the cell block, and then we can actually make a start with um, accepting prisoners. But for now, please leave a like if you did like the video. If you've stayed this long, I imagine you've liked the video. Um, please leave a comment if you what you'd like to see in the prison. Maybe you've got an idea for me. And also, again, if you know how the drain works, please leave a comment and let me know that. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to keep updated when the new prison architect's coming out, as well as other videos. Um, but for now, I'll see you next time. Bye.